Welcome back to the Aduma Mum series where we just build stuff on Nimby Rails. Today is episode 2 of this brand new series where we are going to be rebuilding the entire TFL network. Today we're doing the central line, B for Bakerloo line, C for central, it only makes sense, we're going down alphabetically and you know what, this time we've got a little new graphic for you. And on screen right now, you will be able to see the timetable that we will be building our TFL network on today. Well, we are going to be running from 12 trains out from Ealing Broadway, 9 from West Ricelip, and we'll just see how it goes. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be loading up our previous save of London 2.0, where we just built the Bakerloo line. So starting off, we will be starting over here at Ealing Broadway. We're going to just be creating... What we are going to be doing is we're going to be making it 130 meters long. We're just going to be calling this one Eating Broadway. And what I'm going to do here is leave a platform here for the district line and a platform here for the Piccadilly as well. I'm just going to bring the track just through here. I'm just going to curve up here. And there is a station here, and this will be West Acton. So we're gonna just gently put that in. Just rename that to West Acton as well. And just put it out and start to curve it towards the main line. So we've started all the way over here, and it's time to go all the way up here to West Roslip. But we're also just going to put 130 meter long platforms. Put that in the middle so I can just stick in national rail services on each side. And then I'm just going to be putting that just somewhat around the middle. And then here we have a station called Ricelip Gardens. I might actually put this just slightly under the ground just so. actually have it go and be there where it actually is. Connect that up and then keep going down where here is a South Ricelip. And boom. Just rename that to South Ricelip and now we go all the way down towards North Old which the station building would be here. What's that? Like, so many leisure centers next to these stations. It's weird. Like, South Ricelip had one, I'm fairly sure, and then this one also has one. So we're gonna come out of there and just go through towards Berryville, Greenford even, which is here. to bridge up here and go right down just so we can connect ourselves to Greenford here towards Perivale here. I am going to put the station underneath because it is actually underneath the main road. Kind of. space for national rail trains and then just pull that out of there and lift it up just like this and that will be hangar lane it's just gonna come back up 
just built here. It's going to be in North Acton. And we'll just put it through there. And then I doubt I can... Yeah. So we'll have to delete just that little bit of track. Just put it underneath. And then bring it back up. And then branch it off. Like that. North... And now here we've got the main line out of uh, Paddington, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extend this out a little bit. And just curve it around. Just like that. Bring it up a little bit. Pretty sure there is just no stations here until Pattern, which I think is just that. Actually, yeah, I just looked at Google Maps, it is. So we're just going to put this in. And then just connect it up. And do something like this. And then just have this go straight through. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Wood Lane Station, and then up here I'm going to put in White City Station. So we're going to have that come around and just curve in. And then I'm just going to just curve that like that. And after this, it curves into Shepherd's Bush. So what we have here is White City and Wood Lane. So now what I'm going to do is just put this a little bit further and just put it one bit lower. Now the station building is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put it a little bit over here so when I do build the overground it will be all one station just play around with the track so it gets as much speed around there as possible and now I'm just going to put it back onto this road all the way up here towards Holland Park which will be here And just connect the two and we're just going to just curve it round it's maybe a bit too close and then put in Notting Hill Gate here and just follow the road and then just continue down the road maybe delete them because Queen's Queensway's just here, which I didn't even realise was that close. Queensway. And it continues to follow this road, just around here. So I'm going to put it bang on in between those two roads. Just continue that on like that. Quickly rename the station. And then just continue this all the way down to Marble Arch. For the first time today, it's actually got the correct name. I'm just going to continue going straight down. And we're just going to add in a stop here at Bottom Street. And then another one over on the surface. That looks to be the same level so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it down a level just like that and just do something like this and over here it's the easiest station to recognize here 
So far is Tottenham Court Road. Now the next one would be Hoban. And we're just gonna follow the road kind of. Just do this so it gets max speed and just alter the line just slightly. Lane about there seems a bit I think that would probably be better. Chancery Lane and then this is just one straight route all the way down to St. Paul's. something like that just so I can get as much speed out of the station as possible go towards bank and bank would be here which what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it a little bit higher up just like this just so I can bend it round do something like this and what it does is it goes up this road and then like s comes up here towards Liverpool Street just like that also forgot to na rename bank and this would be Liverpool Street and this would come out of Liverpool Street up towards Bethnal Green. Now, the thing is, Bethnal Green Central Line Station is over here. Now, I could put it over there, or I could just put the station here and connect up with the overground. But just to stick through, I'm just going to stick it all the way over here. And I'm just going to call this Bethnal Green. In normal cases, I would mark that as um, London Underground, and not just London Overground, but it's what it is. So what I'm going to do here is Google Maps just does it in a straight line, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Uh, it does it from here and just goes straight to Bethnal Green, so I'm just going to follow that road up, just like that. And just stick with how it is all the, just the rest of the way. And now this makes it perfect to go all the way down to Mile End, which is roughly around here. So what I'm going to do... have tracks just like this and then just have the central line just come in just like that and then have it just curve off fairly instantly And then have it just curve up here, which you won't going to do because no trains actually use anywhere here. Or lines, actually. I'm just going to slowly creep the ramp up a bit. And then bring it out to about there. And now I'm just going to... Bridge that all the way. All the way up to Stratford here. Now, giving positions, the Jubilee and DLR platform should be here. 
the other DLR platform should be here, and the central line should be roughly around here. So I'm just gonna do something like that. And then curve this down and then have that go back inside of a tunnel and curve straight over like that. So we've got Mile End with its little district bit just there, just to curve the Stratford line just off of it and still have that as its main use. And our next station is Leighton is just here. And we got Layton. And we're just gonna have this just run. And it looks like it goes into a tunnel here. So I'm just gonna have this do that and just curve up towards where the Stratford line would be. And now we just continue down to Leighton Stone, which would be a very easy to spot just here. And High Street, uh, Leighton Stone High Road is just there. Now this is where it gets a little bit difficult because this line here will go towards Epping. So it goes somewhat that. And we're going to need a branch off around here. Curves off towards one set here, which would mean the station building would be around about here. I'm just gonna curve that off and just have it something like this. I'm just going to just continue with the main line here, but the station is actually above the road. I'm gonna put the station just like that. And just put that back onto the ground. And now on this line, it's just going to just shoot its way all the way up here until it gets to here. Where I'm just going to put the station like that, but on Google Maps, it is a lot bigger than that. And we're just going to put South Woodford in. I'm just going to continue just going straight through to Woodford, which would be just here. And I'll just connect that back up to the line and there. And now up here. Actually can't put that there. There we go. Just continue that up like that. Up to here, which would be Buckhurst Hill. And now the same thing here, I'm just going to add in this bit. Just like this. And this would be the top of the circle bit out of the central line. Which would mean it would be something up like this. Chigwell Station would be in the middle of this gap here. Something like that. 
just need to connect these two stations up. Just like that. So this one would be Chigwell. And this one would be Roding Valley. So now we've got the bottom bit of the circle done up to one set, and this bit as far as Chigwell. Now after Bugfirst Hill we get into the place where there's literally just nothing here. So we go for quite a while here. And then we get to Lufton. Which would be somewhat like that. Just try to put that in that gap so I can actually build that as well. Right, that's just slightly off. And now... I'm just going to do this because I feel like this is easiest for this bit. Mainly because there's a lot of gap between each station here. Right, that would be Debton. And here... Actually, what I'm going to do is start this station from here. And then go all the way up to Epping. Uh, on 30, I'm actually going to completely get rid of that bit. Bring them onto Epping. I'm going to throw it back down here and start doing the line from here. So this should be the easy bit. And just completing the entire bit here. is going to be Newbie Park, which would be somewhat like that. So I'm going to have this just continue down like that. And just have this just curve around like this. Just like that. I mean, this could be a little bit better like that. She prefer it like that. And I'm just gonna up to barking side. Which would be here. And then just have just like that. Into barking side. And this will just come out like this into Fed Up Station. Let me just connect this up. Ah. I have to do it from that side because it won't allow it. And here we've got Hainault Station. Do is I'm just going to move the entire station 
just slightly over a bit, just so it's slightly nicer to look at. Also spelled hey not wrong, but not how people would normally misspell it. And now here it comes around like this, for some strange reason. something like that so it isn't too bad on that bend and isn't too bad on that bend and this will be Grange Hill and then it's just one simple little bit here bam and that is a central line done so on screen now will be a little table on how much the Baker Lou line allegedly costs on this game. And here we can see the central line now adds to that table and apparently costs 704 million US dollars. Which is just under double the amount that the Baker Lou line is alleged to be built for, which we know isn't true. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build all blueprints and we're just going to go through and just sort it out. So from the timetable sheet that you saw at the beginning of the video, it will pop up now again. Um, there will be a fair few different trains and stuff going across this network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new line called the central line. And just like the big blue line, I'm also going to have this at 5 US dollars on the game. Now what I'm going to do is I'm currently going to get the central line hex code up, which is E3 2017. Let me just, for essence, put that to white and paste in, and it is the central line colour. So here we're going to create a new line service, and this is going to be right slip to epic. So now what we're going to do is we are I'm just going to go through all the stops there that runs on this line. So I understand why you need two stations there. through Oxford Circuit. Oh, that's not done. I accidentally forgot to rename Bond Street here. There we go. So back to the line. Just continue going all the way down the line. Or rather, back up the line. All the way up back to West Ryslip. Actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to delete this. And I'm just going to do it the easy way that I know. I'm just going to type it right step to Epping, just like that. I'm not too familiar with this new line system thing, so I'm just going to leave it like how I would do it before this update came out. And now, as you see on the graph, that was shown before there is nine trains per hour on this line which if you do 60 divided by nine it needs to run every six minutes what we're going to do is we're going to purchase new trains we're going to put in some 1992 stock so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add in five trains add in a fair few more a little bit more nine Seven and a half. Maybe add one more train in and 
six and a half minutes every training will come. So now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to clone that line and bring it from Northall to Lufton. So I will need to take a few stops out. Seems to be a problem here, and yeah, I see the problem here. I'm just gonna do that. That won't cost me anything else, but at least it will mean whatever happened there is now fixed. I'm just gonna go through here, stopping at Lufton. So, Debden and all of these won't need to be done. I'm gonna do it like that, and it's just gonna work its way back down the line. The North Hole, just like that. And now this adds on three extra trains per hour. So I'm just going to put, so if you do the math, that's every 20 minutes. I'm going to add in five and just add two more trains in. 18 minutes. It, it will do for me. It's close enough to three. So now I've got seven trains on that line, I'm just going to leave that alone and I'm also going to clone this line and do Ealing Broadway to Epping. It doesn't go Epping. Ealing Broadway to Hainault. So now I'm going to just take off a few stations here. I'm going to start at Ealing Broadway, so now we go along Stratford, Leighton, Leighton, Snone, and then from Snaresbrook, it doesn't go up there, goes to Wanstead, and along here to Hainal, just like that. And just like that, that is now done. And then I need to go through here and take it off here. And then put it down at West Ankton and terminate at Eden Broadway. So if I scroll up, it's now done. So here there is six trains per hour on the Eden to Hainal, which means every 10 minutes. Fairly close, got 12 minutes there. 10.54, I will take that. So now I've got 11 trains on this line too. Now, I'm going to also clone this one. Now, Ealing to Newbury Park. So we'll go through, but it will stop at Newbury Park. So we just take off these and just do that. And it'll go all the way back down to Eating Broadway. And this is every three train uh three trains per hour. So we'll just do this for every 20 minutes. 18 minutes, I'll take it as well. Now I'm going to go back to the Eating to Hainal, and I'm also going to clone this one because it's uh White City to Hainal. to take them off and take these ones off too just like that now this is one train per hour so you see one train two train two trains will do and now a brand new line completely is uh, Woodford to Hainal up to Woodford and then back around just like that I'm just gonna put one train on it 17 minutes 17 and a half so that literally means pretty much 30 seconds off from three an hour but I'll just happily do with one train on that now that is the complete central line done but 
we still need to do one more thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to just open all of these up for passenger service. And just like that, if we press on the time feature and just speed up a fair bit, all of our central line trains are now added onto the map. And they're currently making us zero pound because there's no one actually using the line. But now if I go up onto assets, uh, lines, and contains total passengers, we can see the right slip to Epping is the most, it's even outperforming the Bakerloo alone. And I will just, so I will go through a full day and see how much passengers it picks up. So it's the next day, we're actually one hour into the following day, and the Bakerloo line had 6.8 thousand people boarding trains before the central line was a thing. As soon as the central line is brought in, it went up to 98.9, but this is before it actually opened, and then it shoots up to 162,000 boarding trains. And as you can see, obviously we've got <laughs> the white seat to Hainal at the bottom, because it's just a few trains. We've got the Woodford to Hainal, which yeah, a few people would get on. We've got Norfolk to Lufton, Ealing to Newbury, Ealing to Hainal, Bakerloo Line, and the Roseleep to Epping at the top. Now, for lifetime, the Bakerloo Line has made 1.1 million. So, that's the first. And Roseleep to Epping, well, it's nearly full day. It's basically, if I go through... It's now technically a full day since I brought it out. And look, we don't have zero people on the line. We have 3,000, which is even better. And the price up to Epping on its first day alone nearly has 860k in total. Whilst Bakerloo Line have 30,000. Then 400, and then 700. So it even beats Bakerloo Line's best day, which is the same day this was actually hit. Anyways, I appreciate you all watching today's video. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really felt enough motivation to make one of these videos, but I've got it done, we've got another week's upload done. Next week should be a cyberpunk video. I mean, I say it should be, it'll be, there's currently actually a poll on my Discord server that you can vote on, which you want to see like an hour long, two hour or three hour long cyberpunk video next week. So join the Discord to basically see that. And then the week afterwards, on April the 1st, should be the recreating Circle Line video on this game. So we'll see like a fair bit more on this. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment if you see a few things wrong with the video or how I could improve that would be very appreciated if you want to see more like this sub to the channel and I will see you all next week